This is my first big reveal for 2016. I have winter sowing seedlings and today I'm going to show you five different types of leafy greens that are exploding from their containers. But before I jump down there and show you those right down there, I wanted to show you all my containers really fast. This is about 103 and I have a, another nine or ten up on my patio all filled with seeds and seedlings on their way to being ready to be transplanted in a couple weeks. So let's jump over and I'll show you the seedlings. The leafy greens. I just got a big rain so it's all wet here. One's already popping out here. Now um, before I show you these, I uh, just want to make sure that if you want to know more about how to do winter sowing, growing uh, seedlings, in containers, jump down in the comments under this video in the um, description and I'll have a link for you right there. And make sure you subscribe to the channel too so you can see when new videos come out. So if you know me, you know I'm into arugula. It's my favorite green and we're going to start with that. Right here I have three containers. This one's already bursting at the seams. I haven't even ever opened these. They've never seen the light of day until this minute right now. Now these arugula were put in uh, 228 February 28th and today is May 1st so they got a little browning in there because they've been in a little bit too long but the reason I haven't opened them yet is because I still technically have till May 10th uh, as my last frost date and you know technically I'm risking last year we had some snow before the last frost date we even had it after the last frost date so I am risking losing them but I think it's been so warm lately oh good the sun's in now I can see better um, I think they're going to be fine. I am going to transplant and I'll have a link right below this video for me transplanting. If you'd like to see how to uh, transplant leafy greens, you have several options. Okay, here's another arugula. This one went in March 13th. Oh, that one's super healthy. See, I, the later you plant them, the better, I tell you. I don't know why. This one's just a lot healthier. This one has a little bit of browning in it, and I'll take out some of that, and had a little bit of freeze. That's what this one was. One of them had the leaves were touching the inside of the container. We had a really deep uh, freeze, I want to say a month ago, and the seedlings were already grown. And I didn't cover the first night, I did cover the second night. And when the leaves touch the inside of the container, they get brown and they burn. It does not kill the plant, but that's what I think what happened on this one. This one didn't have any browning at all. Really, really yummy. Delicious in salads, delicious on sandwiches, peppery, spicy taste, rocket or arugula. Last one of arugula, woohoo! I love how that one popped out. And they're really thick and strong. Now I'm telling you, we couldn't even put these in the, in the soil for direct seeding up until the last couple weeks and there's no way we would even have them breaking soil, let alone be this big. So winter sowing gives you a huge jump start on direct seeding, uh, you know, putting your seeds right into the soil and on in indoor growing as well. So very happy with the arugula. Okay, next one, romaine. Now these are from my seeds that I've saved the last couple years and saving lettuce seeds is so fun. I have a couple videos on that. I'll put a link below for you on that one. Oh, look at that. Super gorgeous. And you know how sometimes when you grow romaine inside under grow lamps, it likes, it's like toilet paper. It's crepe paper thin. This is not like that. This is super thick. You can't even see through it. Really healthy. Oh, I'm really pleased with this. Now, the choices you'll have, which you'll see when you watch the transplanting videos, that you could leave it actually in this container and eat it this way if you want. And I'll, I'll admit I have done it some years when I'm so crazy busy I can't um, get them all transplanted. Or you can take the whole container out as a hunk and plant the whole container into either in-ground, in-raised beds, or in a um, permanent home in your container, another container. Or you can separate them out, which is what I'm probably going to do. Since they're so to, to, you know tightly together, I probably won't pull each one out individually, but I could because they'll grow much bigger when you have them on their own. Um, or, you, or you can just take like an inch at a time, like maybe out of this container I might get one, two, three, four, five, six or eight, you know, one inch circles and then just plant them separately. And I'll tell you, I have grown romaine into nice size head, heads, really big leaves, maybe, I'm looking right here, 12 inches tall uh, heads because I separated them out or I planted them um, separate from the very beginning. But I prefer to put them all in at once and then separate them. Because that would take too many winter sewing containers for me to do otherwise. Okay, next one is Red Flame. Love this one. <gasps> oh, really healthy again. Look at that. And it's just starting to get the tips of red right there. And it just needs more sun. Now that it's uh, exposed to the light, it's going to start darkening up. And a lot more red leaves will come. But that's a really nice lettuce. I'll separate that one out and uh, grow individual heads on that one as well. Okay, this one is Buttercrunch. 
Okay, so let's see how this one looks. Oh yeah, nice. For a second there I thought it was a romaine, but it's not. It's got a different leaf. Really healthy, really sturdy. Look at all that. Let's look at the root growth too. I didn't, I looked at it for my sugar snap peas. Oh yeah, you can see. I don't know if you can see from there. I can't focus really well with the uh, sun in my eyes. Good root growth in there. So I'm, I got a lot to work with for when I transplant. Okay, and then lastly, this is my first time growing this cabbage. It's called Mishahili. M-I-C-H-I-H-I-L-I. -I cabbage. It's a Chinese cabbage. So here we go. First time ever. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. Very thick. Different texture completely. Oh, this is going to be fantastic. I'm going to taste this. That's a good one right there. Mmm. Not bitter at all. There, focus. Mmm. I like the taste of that. It doesn't even taste cabbage-y yet. Hard to describe, but I do like it. So options on this. I want to try and grow some heads. So I will separate them out, just like the lettuces I talked to you about, and try and get one or two of these seedlings at a time to grow into big heads. But you can also eat them as leafy greens. I'm still getting used to the taste. It's a different taste. It doesn't taste like cabbage like I thought it would. But I, well, who, who knows what it's going to turn into when it gets more into head size. It does have that kind of brassica taste, the uh, cruciferous vegetable taste. Mm. But I like it. I like it. Um, anyway, I am very excited about that. It's really healthy. Let's look at the roots there. Can't see much root development on this one. But clearly, clearly we have root development. So this is my big reveal for leafy greens. I don't know if I've even done a leafy green. Maybe a long time ago when I first started it the first year. But uh, this is the way to go. Now, of course, I'm going to still keep doing winter sowing all spring, which is also called milk jug sowing. That's what we call it when it's not really in the winter, because it's still going to be faster than if I did it direct seeding in my beds. These are all going to go up in that bed up by the house because it's got a lot of partial shade and they like to be in partial shade. So um, overall, super happy with these. And I am going to see you on the next video. Make sure you watch for the transplanting video with the link below. There was something else I was going to tell you, but it just missed. I just lost it. Oh, well, it'll come back to me on another video. I am really grateful for you being here with me. And uh, thanks so much for joining me. Sending you much love from my garden to yours. See you, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.